panel here, but it's really going to come down to the gameplay. We got game number one for you, Sunsman. Jenkins, take us away. So good rotation from Siamese Cat is Ori. That would have been a really big kill. I mean, talk to me about Storm versus Lesh because Storm is not the most popular pick. Lesh even not that popular no. these days. Well, go back to those old win rates. Yeah, uh, Lesh is one of the He's highest win rates. Is all memorized? What is wrong with you? I don't. I look at these a lot. Uh, okay. He has a very high because you win pubs. If you, do, you look at the winner, you're like, oh, it's a free pick. Yeah, it's a very uh, high win rate versus Storm. It's a hero that likes to play the lane, standing on the creep wave. Obviously, as we saw there, Lesh can punish that, especially with some rotations. As does connect the second remnant. Yep, Lightning Storm into the split. Earth, Dubu's here as well, and Brian getting really low, but he's going to get the kill onto Ori instead. With the rotation from Dubu as they're going to get the Water Rune bottom. And it looks like the top one is taken by Baboka, though, to deny. Yep, so to answer your earlier question, that happens when Storm tries to man up on the creep wave versus... Answer, please. Oh, now it's going to sound like I'm cheating. Well, during the draft. Did you? I like I like Fnatic. I, I think. Uh, Ori is gonna get some help from Baboka. Nice tower. kick into the tower. Brian, mega dead. Good rotations overall from Aster. As that was not even remotely close. It's a good turnaround here as Ori still trying. Standing how Lushrak has played. Oh, Monet playing the Terror Blade and in terms of net worth, not doing too shabby. Top two. Ooh, that's an arcane rune. Both that mids want this big. so badly. Ori, he will snag it. Here we go. A zip on in onto Brile. Of course, more members of Aster are here. And Brile has that pulse stop doing massive damage. He gets the splitter onto two heroes. And they're only going to find Boboka. Ori very close to dropping there. So it could have been a lot worse for Aster, but obviously Fnatic would have loved to have gotten that rune as well. <laughs> very He's going to have to take his own stack instead. And in terms of the builds, are we going to see like a Yules on Lesh to set up his own stun? Does he need a setup? Because you do have Fissure, which is extremely long range. I would still imagine that a Yules is good, just so that the Lesh can be a hero that can initiate plays. Because you're going to have the Io and the Lesh running together, and then you're going to have the rest of the team on the other side of the map. So like having the Lesh able to set stuff up on, on his own is, is important for that reason. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also, I, I, Yules as a defensive measure this game is pretty good too uh it, it, you can stop the sunder you can take off the earth spirit silence uh storm if he gets an orchid which is a build we've been seeing a decent amount uh this this patch like all of these things the yules is good against huh? illusion rune this time ori seems to be getting a lot of these runes right now yeah he is the, the, he's got the little quinn gene it seems now yeah. passed it off Gave him the crown, but uh, no, it's it's not the, it's not the most powerful rune, you know. No. What, what, let's let's look at the items. The big item this game is the mana reduction one. Does either side have this? Because both sides want it. Storm fairy versus trinket, Lesh. You the, mean? the fairy trinket. Yeah, Aster does not yet. Drink that Gaben's nectar. Yep, yeah, that is something. Oh, we're gonna see the curse come out from Jabs. He's gonna get surrounded here as DJ getting off a nice fissure. Enchant totem to follow. Doesn't have his Echo Slam yet, so Ori can only be denied so much as Monet with an early Sunder onto Bryle, who's extremely low. Zipped on by Ori, but the heal's coming out from the Io. Not gonna keep Bryle alive in the end. So two dead, make it three in favor of Aster. Double kill for XXS. And that is... A I would say it's a turning point, but it is still relatively early in the game. What, what we just witnessed is precisely why I say nice relocate back to the base. Right back onto the Earthshaker now as well. Double kill for Tomato. As they take Boboka to the grave. Now, can they catch anybody on Aster? Or he's going to be a tough one. He's got no mana, actually. That's true, and the Arcane Rune has already dissipated. He do, does have two wand charges. Jenkins, very important. Brile gets on the Lightning Storm. And just enough for Ori to get high ground there. The damage on top, zipping in a little bit closer now. Of course, no Terror Blade Metamorphosis. As Brile trying to zone out a bit here for Tomato to try to finish this off. XXS gets a Chakram off. Just trying to delay this as much as possible, but the, the Roche is going down really fast to Tomato now, but you can see they're going to get some scouting out. They're going to get the stun up onto Tomato, but he's going to get the kill onto Baboka, and the Aegis is taken along with the Roche from Tomato, and XX says he does get great. That's a lot of Fury Swipes. Timber Chain to the high ground. Looks like he might be okay. Even the Dazzle getting away. 
Another Timber Chain for XXX, but he's getting relatively low on mana. One more right click. Nope. XXX again. Yules, again. Yules but here comes Jax with the curse just to ensure that they have enough time. Get off the curse. He was invisible that entire time. And here comes the relocate. Early grave. Split Earth is there, but Ori gets enough time thanks to the grave to zip away XXS. Oh, the tree. oh, he missed. Actually, was that a miss or did somebody eat a tree? Either way, leads to his death. At the very least, Ori lives. So again, right on point with the, the grave. I don't think he has curse yet, does he? He does have curse. Okay. He's looking. Yep, he's gonna curse XXS. Tomato. Queuing up the Fury Swipes. Jumps right in with the BKB, and there's the Fissure to stop the Timber Chain. Grave again, keeping XXS alive, but will it be enough? Indeed it is. Nicely played again from Siamese Cat. He dazzles a good hero. He is, but good. he's gonna die anyway, as he gets fissured with the Enchant Totem Shard. And Tomato pursuing even further, focusing now on Monet. 10 seconds on Aegis, he's gonna be careful on Tomato. as the roll on in. More so out, I suppose. Still, they've cut into the ages by the half duration right now. At the half mark, Split Earth. Monet, so at half health. There's the zip in from Ori, focusing on Bryle, just waiting for this potential relocate. But there's oh, the fear comes from Monet, getting to half HP. Has the Sunder, has the Aegis. He's gonna get a Missile Bladed, and oh, he actually gets saved again from Siamese Cat, thanks to the heal. But that's the Aegis down. And remember, that wasn't actually meta, that was the fear from the Aghanim no, stuff. No, he did get meta. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, he used meta before. Okay, that is me. really rough. Split Earth connects, early grave. Still trying to go on the Siamese cat. Monet does get up a nice Sunder onto Tamano, and he drops as a result. 100 seconds, buys back into the game. Now yeah, this kill onto Jab is pretty big. He wasn't really able to do too much after the curse, but a big echo sign from Pijan onto several heroes. But again, the save onto Ori zips away to safety, and will TP back to base. Not stun lock to take out XXS now, as Aster, not a very clean It's Ursa too, because you just constant nullify his mm. his attack speed. It's very annoying. Yeah, over, over power gets taken off. We have the jump by Bryle, with the zip in from Ori, and Monet pops the fear. Bryle getting saved for the time being, but he's completely outnumbered right now, and XXS. Looking to try to reset is the Abyssal Blade initiation from Tomato, but again, the grave from Siamese Cat. Monet is forced out to safety. Now he's trying to kick Ryle back into the fray, but he's going to use the mini Yules on himself. Ryle is not able to hit that split earth. Jazz looking for the Winter's Curse, but he's getting initiated on by Orion. Focus down and silence and brought down to his knees. 120 seconds with no Winter Wyvern, and Ryle dies inside his own split earth. But another actual sign from DJ and the bashes from Tomato keep Fnatic alive. And the buyback comes out from Ori. There's just so many, uh, so many icons up there. Ori with the initiation and the roll on in and the kick, kick out. out thanks to the Earth Spirit Agon Scepter. But the curse comes out. It's actually going to be reflected back onto Fnatic. So it kind of pauses the game as Jazz now looks like he's going to find his way to the grave as Ori finishes him off. 100 seconds of no Wyvern. The Bloodstone not going to keep anybody else alive as Ori with the Electric Vortex Agon. That's what that's called, apparently. Has been oh, good. <laughs> Oh, there's that second death throw. Good stuff. He's getting chased out right now. But in the mid lane, Ori playing the Razor 16 and 4 versus the 15 and 3 Bryle. So relatively. Check out some creeps potentially. A little bit of a slow start in the mid lane. And it's going to be scanned out just so Bryle knows that he's there. Don't want to get flamed for not calling missing, of course. Naturally. Uh, but in terms of like the rotation, I mean, we've seen. You know, that bot. You see the stuns come out. Scatterblast is going to keep them at bay. Looks like Siamese Cat is fine. Jabs in the meantime. Still has that shield crash damage mitigation. And with just one plasma field, Monet. Able to get himself that Monet. Very smartly just leaves the lane and goes back into the top lane just to farm the old natural way. Ori is doing a lot of damage through this rolling thunder. He's actually going to get the kill onto Jazz with the LSA Laguna Blade combo, keeping it alive with the Fairy Fire. Sapphire Cookie no, not enough to unfair. help him survive in the end, but still a one for one. When does an alchemist get lane creeps? <laughs> That's the dream. I mean, you're stuck in the jungle. They have really good vision up there that has yet to be dewarded, so it's bought him a lot of space. Not to be able to do exactly what Oh, he's look doing. at these camps, too. These are the best camps to get. Yo, mud golems. Mud golems and the little pathetic kobolds. Oh, but Bryle continuing to harass and try to disrupt his farm. Obviously, Fnatica, I mean, their game plan is to do just that. Monet. 
Shield Crash to start has his ultimate with that extra regen for that Chemical Rage, so they're not going to pursue it, looks like. He's, flex he's flexing, flexing a bit. Like, I, I feel like Monet is not actually that strong up here. Mechanic is very afraid of him. So I don't think Beast can rotate. They're worried about Ori TPing in, I think. And they're, they're, they're slowing him down a bit. But it has required three of them to be in this area for seemingly the last three minutes. I think. Is now Ori going high ground. He's going to find some auto, gets off that time dilation, still has the Chronosphere. Might have to use it defensively if he's not Ooh, careful. He's leap out of range. Yeah, that's time walk. And the curse is going to have to be used instead to try to delay, delay, delay. The Boca Echo Slam with the Vault. Nicely done to help that pick up on Dubu. In the underscape. That's Aster's what the horse he's called, by the way, is, Vault. Is, is the, that's Vault? Yeah. Is that a Cinder in trivia that he... It was, literally, yes. Oh. It is definitely a good start for Aster. And oh, that's the right here. Right on to Bryle. He can use Block by the Fissure. Beautifully done, Baboka. Just a god-tier Fissure. 40 seconds of no Bryle. DJ gets off the snowball, trying to get some shenanigan action with that Ice Shard, but will not push Ori to the low ground. Instead, he will die. And Fnatic are crumbling right now. Fisher stops the TP. Double kill for Ori. Radiance online for Monet. And this is getting into shellacking territory. And I just like, yep, good, great job. But zero oh, charges. Yeah, so. they, they need to they need to kill a support. Oh, he yeah. might die himself. Oh, yeah, Mortimer's kisses. Nice stun for Baboka into Aurora again. And it feels like if they're able to get one stun, they're able to get the perma. DJ. All right, they get the concoction off on himself as DJ. Oh. Locks him off with the ice shark. Whatever. Creeps are probably worth more at this point, honestly. Yeah, he is alchemist. 13k lead for Aster. At 18. And Baboka with a blink. Ah, uh, look again. That is 14. Yep, it's just going up ever so slowly. It is. And the courier is coming. Oh, they know where he is. Sentry. Baboka runs right into Tomato. Blink. Enchant Toto. Fisher to follow. Concoction's coming as well. Set up by the Echo Slam. And again, just no time. Just beautiful layering from Aster. Yeah, this is probably the Roche. They probably could have done this earlier, too. They've just been free. So they're just going to have to hightail back to their own jungle and try to reconsider their options right now, which I don't even know what they are. This is such a hard snowball from Aster. When you get off to this good of a start on these type of heroes. So he's keeping up with Monet. Oh, DJ. Well, initiation from Monet, still with the Aegis, gets off the Concoction, that's a dead Wyvern, no Winter's Curse. Roar now sets up another kill onto DJ, so just like that, both supports dead for Fnatic. Boca didn't have Echo Slam, he's gonna get chased by Jabs, who's getting Static Link in the meantime, and he's just gonna have to roll all the way back to base. Now the high ground offense is coming from Aster. Fissure, Bryle, no BKB, just dead. Tomato looking for the potential Chrono as he's just faking it out now and takes a casual right click from Monet. And this game is getting, well, it's been out of hand for quite a while. Now it's, uh, and, and GG's are called. God.